All right, welcome back to another Koenji Sean Reviews. And this video will probably be my last one for 2021. We're getting close to the Nenmatsu holiday season, the year end holidays here in Japan. And pretty much from Christmas Saturday, which is a Saturday this year, which is awesome. Usually it's on a regular weekday and everyone's got school and work. So that's cool. Through the 3rd of January, I'm going to be just chillaxing. I'm going to be stuffing my face and drinking booze and trying to catch up on some manga reading. But I wanted to get one more thing out for this year, so I dug through my manga collection trying to find something festive that we could check out together. And I dug out Present by the Queen of Japanese Horror Manga. Inuki Kaneko. This is a three volume series, so these are all the volumes here. And I remembered that in volume two, we have something a little festive. So let's take a look here. There's Inuki herself. She never shows her face. I did dig up a picture of her when she was young with another mangaka once online, but it must have been a 25 year old picture so who knows what she looks like now um we have this kind of i've mentioned this before if you want to know more about inuki kaneko i did a long profile video it's on my youtube here so just take a look at that but in present we have this girl she's kind of like the crypt keeper she introduces a story to us and then kind of sometimes she plays a role in the story other times she just narrates in and out of the story Nice, right? So we have her and Santa Claus here. And he's got this magic present that when she looks into the box, she can see his stories. His stories about these children. There's three stories here, so and they're pretty short, so we'll get through them here pretty quickly. Uh, the boy, his Santa letter, uh, his parents are super strict. All they do is make him study. All he got for Christmas was a bunch of textbooks and a globe. His letter to Santa was he wanted a new baseball bat. So Santa shows up with the baseball bat. His parents think it's dumb to want a toy. But also at baseball, his coach berates him, makes him run laps, uh, makes fun of him. He's finally had enough. And he goes home and trashes his room. When his parents see, come to see what all the ruckus is about, he decides he's going to do them too and bashes their brains in. Then, see, remember, we're seeing the future in the magic box, the magic present. And then it, this leads him down the path of becoming a criminal where he robs kidnaps and murders of course santa can't have this so he's not sure if he should give him the bat or not but well he kind of does give him the bat gives him the old bat to the head look at his eyeballs are blasting out there and another time for safe measure and he leaves him the bat so you can see in present, everyone who wants something gets what they deserve in the end. Then he's telling the girl here, see the girl comes in and out, like the Crypt Keeper, and he's showing her the next story. This one is about a poor girl, her parents can't afford to buy Christmas presents, she wants a dolly, Santa brings her a dolly, her parents try to take it from her, she convinces her parents somehow, even though they're poor, to buy some dolly clothes for the doll. And she says, when I grow up, all I'm going to do is buy whatever I want, whatever clothes I want. So when she grows up, she becomes kind of a party girl. She has an unwanted pregnancy. And she doesn't really like kids too much. Look, at she throws an ashtray at that baby's head and a bottle at it. Take care of yourself. And she goes out partying. Then when she, the, she's got three kids now, she's a bit older, she's like, I'm going on a vacation. You guys stay here. Here, take this money. Feed yourselves. Um, baby, though. So when she comes home, 
The kids are really happy to see her, but she doesn't give a shit. And the baby's dead. Dead baby. So she just throws it in a plastic bag to ditch it. Then she goes on to have five or six more unwanted pregnancies. Uh, Santa's like, I can't give you this doll. You're going to turn into this awful human being. Or can I? So he does some voodoo on the doll. Breaks the doll's arm. It breaks her arm. Squeezes its head. and breaks its neck, which breaks her neck as well. Okay, it's all twisted backwards. And that was story number two. And then finally, Santa is showing our narrator girl the final story this kid really wants a computer they can't afford it they win a raffle you know of course Santa's magic at work um, he's a nerd he's really good at programming computers making games and stuff some kids bully him try to get him to steal some stuff um, it's kind of just showing that he's but he doesn't actually end up stealing but just showing that he's so in computers that he kind of loses his friends, and then he grows up, he's become some IT wizard, he's working for the government, he does some programming for the prime minister, for the government, for their nuclear weapons system, and the psychotic prime minister presses the button, as you do in around 1995 this came out, and the nuclear fallout melts thousands upon thousands of people of course Santa can't have this so Santa sends the boy into his own computer into a war game where the boy is trapped the mother comes in to see what all the ruckus is about you can see the boy here is trapped inside the computer which was left on and she turns it off where he disappears into the ether. And we're back with Santa talking to our girl about these kids want these presents, and presents is what I'll give them type of a speech. And here she is, much like Oninbo in Hino Hideshi's stories, walking off into the distance. And that was Santa Claus no Okurimono or Santa's Presence by in Present Volume 2 by Inuki Kaneko. Uh, happy holidays to all of you out there. Look forward to doing some more videos next year. If you are all caught up and want a bit more to watch though, go head over to my Patreon page. For only three bucks a month, I try to make it as cheap as possible. Um, for three bucks a month, you get a second library of my videos, all the stuff that is not safe for work, that is weird, that is rare, that is sometimes erotic, and oftentimes very bloody. I have 10 videos up there now and a couple other posts as well. So there's plenty of content to keep you busy over the holiday season. But I still appreciate everyone out there that just subs, likes, and shares. You're all the best, and I look forward to doing some more of these with you in 2020. To. And until then, my friends, happy holidays, happy new year, and matane.